for Afghanistan, a country where bad news is more of a rule than the exception. 2015 has been particularly dreadful. Taliban and ISIS have achieved what we're hoping to be temporary success within the country. According to the latest UN report, the number of casualties have reached a new peak of 9,000 in 2015 as a result of inflicted violence in just the first 10 months of the year. After 14 years of invasion, there are still stories like 27-year-old Farhunda being publicly slain by a mob in the middle of Kabul. The body of 9-year-old Shokriya was returned to her family after she was brutally beheaded, along with six other Hazaras and ethnic Afghan minorities. Young men, as young as 11-year-old Samuel Law, continue to join the insurgency to become suicide bomber. And Kabul is hit by regular interval explosions from time to time. So you can see, the past year has been an undeniably difficult year for all Afghans. Record numbers, as many as hundreds of thousands, are fleeing the chaos by risking their lives to cross illegally into Iran, Turkey, and onto Europe. But amid the doom and gloom, how do young Afghans, which make up more than 60% of its population, hold on to hope? I spent two years photographing the youth in my home country of Iran. At the end of those two years, realizing the value of my photographs showcasing the secular youth culture of Iran for the world to see, I packed my bags and moved to Kabul to document a generation that has only known war and a subculture that no one really knows about. This group of young people, born between 1980, the first year of Soviet invasion of Afghanistan, and 2001, which marks the first year of US-led military intervention of Afghanistan, are Afghan millennials. They show great resiliency and hope. When I first met some of these Afghan millennials, the best and the brightest of their generation, they were hopeful almost to a fault determined to bring their beleaguered but beloved country into the light at the start of 2015. The past 12 months have put their commitment into test. Rather than making every effort to leave and seek asylum in European countries, the secular youth captured in my photographs have stayed and strived to transform their war-torn country into a more secure and prosperous place to live. But remaining secular in Afghanistan comes with a price with her, for everyone. The youth, the youth have to maintain several identities and live a dual life by hiding some of their activities from their parents, their relatives, their friends, colleagues, and the eye of public. Due to the strong presence of Islamic beliefs, drinking is not tolerated among Afghans. But Soheila and her friend hit one of the only underground bars left in Kabul to have a drink and listen to loud live music. And while music was banned under Taliban regime, today young people like Shala pick up their guitar to play a cover of Avril Lavigne's song. Members of Afghan Dream breakdancing crew practiced and rehearsed in the French school auditorium up until it was attacked and blown up by Taliban this year. Most forms of dance are seen as morally corrupt. While photography was a punishable act under Taliban regime, today young men compete in modeling contests in hopes of becoming a model and taking over billboards all across the city. Brave young women sweat off the stress of everyday life by practicing with the national team of boxing, while their mothers, just 15 years ago, were not even allowed out on the street under Taliban rule. This slice of culture, led by a courageous group of young people, is not a monolithic fraction, but signals hope. One thing that many of these young men and women pointed out to me is that their generation seems to have found its voice, and it's important for the world to know it exists. The youth that I met shortly after I moved to Kabul in December of 2014 were all positively patriotic and hopeful about their country. But after such a difficult year, their words and their tones are much less upbeat today. 
Having grown up in Iran, where the youth strive to dream in the face of oppression, this is a generation that I identify with, a generation that fights for the strain of life in the middle of constant conflict. May this fraternity and solidarity among young Afghans lead into patience and strength. May they find motivation to carry on. Thank you.